Good afternoon, guys. Oh, today is very scary for me. Um, tutorial Thursday, even though it's on Saturday. But shh. <laughs> as every, as ever, with every video I do, I'm behind schedule. But yeah, <laughs> um, I decided as a new plan for 2019 and to try and get me using youtube more i am going to do one tutorial thursday every month on the first thursday of every month like i said i'm running late so <laughs> a thousand apologies but here we are so yes um be gentle with me it's the first time i've done anything like this well it's not actually the first time i've done anything like this because i did chloe's jump journal series um, but I didn't class that as a tutorial, that one more of a kind of a craft with me feel thing. Even though you could have followed along with me and done what I was doing, I didn't, I wasn't giving specific instructions. <laughs> um, but this one I'm going to try my very best, so bear with me. And I am so nervous, so nervous, I don't know why but I am. But anyway... So today, we'll just pretend it's Thursday, okay? <laughs> so today, here we are with Tutorial Thursday. And this is a journal I have made. I'm not going to show how to make this. Um, it is a, a paper bag tutorial. Uh, it's not a tutorial at all. It is a paper bag journal. Um, basically, a journal made out of a paper bag. Well, using a paper bag as a cover. Um, using the kit from Tracy Fox over at Love Junk Journals. All the links to Tracy will be below. Um, I'm not going to do it here in this video, but I am going to do a flip through of this journal. Um, so stay tuned for that one, well, not necessarily this video, but after this video. <coughs> so that is coming. But yes, so... I used Tracy's kit to make this awesome journal. It was pretty plain and simple, basically. Um, really, should I say? But I also used... Well, I didn't use because I've made it before. Um, I'm just giving a quick sneak preview flip through. Today, we are going to make this this which is a bookmark belly band belly bands uh, for those of you not familiar with in the scrapbooking paper crafting world are basically pieces of paper or um, material anything that's on a page sometimes they can go across most of the time they tend to go down but sometimes you can go across and all it is is just basically cut to the size of the page and then usually stuck in by being glued a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom so that you can then use it to tuck things in like that on your page um this one however like i said is a um bookmark belly band because it is removable it is the same principle but it is removable um, so you can then use it as a bookmark in your journal and I'm going to show you how to make one so bear with me this is not my idea not my make um, uh, design should I say whatever you want to call it it is the idea and design of a fellow junk journal called G Kerr I will link everything to her channel below even the video where she makes this not this specific one this is my take on it but I will link below to that video as well I have made a few others besides this one this was the first one I made following G's tutorial because she uses 
scrap pieces of coffee dyed paper and all sorts in there in ribbons so that's all that is it's just two pieces of two strips of coffee dyed paper folded in half glued at the top and the bottom bit of lace a ribbon lace whatever on it and then later on um i added some flat back pills to one side i only did it on one side though because i wanted the journey i still wanted it to lay flat um but yeah so i made that one ages ago um then i made this one for another journal i was making but <laughs> i made it too small <laughs> so i will use that elsewhere um but yes, yeah, so I will give measurements of the size of the one that I am making, but I wouldn't really suggest you use these measurements yourself because you'll have to measure your own journals or your own pages in your own journals to know what size you need to make yours because you need it to be bigger than the page that you want it to go on. Um, See, for instance, this journal has different size pages in, and I did not take this into account when I made this. I was just so excited and in a rush to do it. Sorry, guys, kicking the tripod. I'm, on a, I'm at a strange angle. I've got... <laughs> I'm falling over. I've got a new... It's not a new. I have swapped PC chairs. So the one that I used to use up here in the bedroom was the big comfy office chair that I was given ages ago from a friend. Um, <laughs> and it's always been upstairs it was in the workroom and then it got moved here into the bedroom but it's a big thick chunky proper office chair so it's padded it's thick it's comfy and then downstairs I don't use a comfy chair downstairs it's comfy don't get me wrong but it's not as comfy as the one up here and I thought well why do I need that up here I spend more time downstairs than I do up here so I swapped them over um, except this one either the desk has moved or the base on this one is actually bigger than the other one because I'm wedged in it's like can you hear that I can't get that past the desk no matter how I move the base on it I can't get it past the desk to get it back up the corner over there where it sits in front of the window next to the desk so I can walk at the side of the bed um, it's stuck I have to actually kind of pick it up and move it but I'm wedged in at the moment <laughs> so I keep kicking it anyway get back to this like I said I did not take into account the page sizes when I did this so going off these page sizes which is the size of the kit um, yeah it, it ain't gonna go on not a chance is it gonna go on but like I said, as I was doing it, I was on a different page. I think it was this one. Um, yeah, this one. It fits perfect on that page. So you really do have to think about what size your pages are. If you have a journal, like a lot of people do, where pages are staggered in size, you need to f figure out which pages you want the bookmarks to fit. Um do you want it to fit the biggest page and then it'll go on the others anyway but it'll potentially slide off or do you want it to fit the smaller pages um it's it's nice as a bookmark but i'm just going to be using it as a fancy belly band i'm not going to be taking it out and putting it on a different page i just wanted it there as a fancy belly band but also by doing it that way i've got two i've got one on each side um, but there is potential to move it if I want to because I do have some slightly smaller pages throughout the journal there's another one there um, so I could move it around in the back part of the book this is just a one signature journal but kind of like this to me is like part one of it this is part two of it and there's a couple of pages in this back bit of it where I can move it around to like that one's smaller I could move it to there so that one I could move it to there then like i said there's that one there and then the one that it's on um obviously not that one we've just tried <laughs> potentially that one too so it's not too bad being moved around at the back but i'm going to make one for the front as well um and what did i do what did i see there I'm actually going to make it the same size because again there are a couple of pages here in the front of the book that I could move it around to a few of them are the same size as the kit 
um, a few of them are small so I am going to go off these measurements but like I said unless you make a paper bag journal where your pages are seven and three quarter inch tall sorry I work in inches not centimeters um, although that is just over 19 and a half centimeters if you want to do it that way uh, the my tallest pages um, like I said are seven and three quarters of an inch then don't follow this and even that the page that I'm working off is not that big it is seven and a half so <laughs> unless you want a bookmark to go over a page that is seven and a half inch then don't follow these um, measurements but that's what I am going to do so I will get on with it now and show you um, let me get positioned okay so I think I'm about ready <laughs> like I said bear with me guys because I've never done like an instructional tutorial type video before so for this you're going to need um, some card which I have here um, this is actually what's left over from when I did this and luckily there's enough to cut in half and do the next one with but what I did use to do it was just this um, I don't know if I'm in frame it was just this it's just kids art card um, I don't know the thickness of it it doesn't say but I just got this from our local um, b and Bargains shop um, under the, well, in the um, like kids' crafting section. And they're just A5 sheets. They're not very thick, but they're thick enough. More than thick enough for this project. Um, but yeah, so you're going to need some card. Um, that's if you don't actually do this with cardstock. Um, the reason I'm using card is because I'm using offcuts from the actual journal to make the book so that it ties in with the journal but if you want to make a full bookmark out of cardstock or anything else then that is perfectly fine you don't have to make it match your journal you can do it with anything like this one this was just two pieces of well it wasn't two pieces it was a piece of um, coffee dyed paper that I split in half that I just cut and folded in half you know because then that gives it some heft and that's it but I would like I said I want this to match the journal so I'm using off cuts from the journal pages so I'm just actually going to move you down a little bit because when I'm sat down I can't see you and it says me having to zoom in whoa whoa I love this tripod but we have many art many disagreements <laughs> so Right, I think you'll do there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can just about see in it. We have to keep standing up all the time. Yeah, we'll do. Right, so, like I said, we're going to make another one for the front part of the book on one of these pages, which is the same. Excuse me. I'll just try... I think I, excuse me again, I've already checked this anyway. Yeah, it is, actually I think it's the same page anyway. Um, but yes, it fits fine. So, let's just move the book out of the way. Um, and here we are. There's not going to be enough there, is there? Why did I think there were enough to cut that in half and do another one? I am rubbish at this. Right, wait a second, just let me... Now I've lowered the tripod, I think I need to zoom out a little bit. Oh, well, I am zoomed out fully, aren't I? Yep. Right, I need a marker. Not a marker pen, I need a marker to know where I need to be in frame. Okay, so if I just go off basically the blue mat, I know I'm in frame. Okay. Um, but yeah, so how I'm even 
Oh, I know. I know why I thought that. I've gone off. Right, okay. Uh, right, I know why. I thought that because I've gone off the actual inside bit, not the outside bit. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Right, so. You need, for this project anyway, you need any cardstock or paper from your journal. You need some glue. Um, I am actually using art glitter glue. I love this stuff. Um, but any glue will do. Fabri-Tac will glue. Fab Fabri-Tac will glue. Of course it will. <laughs> it is glue. <laughs> Fabri-Tac will do. Um, and I have this as well, which is Tombow liquid glue. That will also do. Um, PVA will do. Because you're only using a small amount of it. Um, that is just kids PVA glue in a tiny little squirty bottle. Um, yeah, the only thing um, that I probably wouldn't suggest using would be a glue stick. But then again, I don't know how, you know, if you leave it long enough, um, I mean, they're good for decoupaging napkins and stuff like that. I've seen quite a few junk journalers doing using the glue sticks to do decoupage and apparently if you just leave it overnight then it's quite adhesive but for something like this because you're going to be pulling it not necessarily pulling at it that way but you're going to be possibly potentially moving it around a lot and aggravating it I would go for something stronger personally but that's just my personal preference so yeah you need some cardstock you need some glue if you do not have a paper trimmer, then you're going to need a ruler and some scissors. But other than that, the only other thing you need is a paper trimmer. Um, and then, like I said, some scraps or whatever you want to put on there. So first of all, let's sort the scraps out. These are the offcuts from the pages in the journal. Um, like I said, when I cut the pages down, I purchased the kit from, like I mentioned, Tracy Fox. Um, over at Love Junk Journals on YouTube and Etsy I purchased these from her Etsy store um, I purchased the A5 kit I've left my piece of paper Ugh, how unprofessional um, I will be back <laughs> I did not leave my piece of paper it was behind me on the bed anyway <laughs> Um, yes, I purchased this um, digital paper kit from Tracy Fox over at Love Junk Journals, links below. Um, and it is the Ola Chic kit. There are, I, there's two kits. Um, there is the A5 kit and then there is the Traveller's Notebook size kit. I purchased the A5 kit, which is, you get... There is, well, there's the two kits. There's the A5 kit and the Traveller's Notebook kit. They're just the journal pages. Then there's a separate kit with the ephemera in it. Um, excuse me, I'm a bit out of breath now running downstairs. One second. I am so professional. Not a good idea to swallow your brew the wrong way. <laughs> <coughs> Dear me, apologies guys. Honestly. I tell you, anytime anybody watches one of my videos, you're you're in for a real treat, I'm telling you. There is always something goes wrong. But anyway, <coughs> there are yeah, there's two separate they're the same kit, but one comes in A5 size, one comes in Traveller's Notebook size, and then you get the ephemera kit separate. Um, I got the A5 size, which gives you 10 A4 sheets. <clears throat> so, when printed out, <clears throat> they print out a full size on an A4 sheet. You don't even need to hit the print to page button or anything like that, they are already fully A4 size. 
Um, and then obviously when folded in half, they give you A5, hence the A5 kit. Um, traveller's notebook, I would imagine, are the same. I don't know measurements for traveller's notebooks. I've never made them. Um, but I would imagine they're the same. They're obviously <coughs> double whatever a traveller's notebook size is when it's folded in half. Then you get, like I said, you get ten sheets of the kit all to page, uh, journal pages all together. <coughs> then you get the ephemera kit separate. And there's five pages all together in the ephemera kit. And you get four tags, four pockets, four side tuck pockets, eight page tabs, <clears throat> one library card, two envelopes, and then a few other little bits. You get some tickets and other stuff, which I'm not going to go into on here, but you will see that in the flip through. Um, so, yeah, that's the kit that I got. And like I said, these that I'm going to use to make the uh, bookmark with, these are strips that come off this. So as I was saying, <clears throat> I printed them out onto A4 paper and then to get them in the journal, I folded them in half, like you do, and then obviously they were too long. So I just, as they were folded in half, I put them on the trimmer, measured first, made sure they were the right size I needed them cut and then... These are the bits that were left over from when the page was cut in, from when the page was folded in half. So, and then because you're using the same page folded in half, you get like the front and the back of it. The offcuts that you get match, but they're different <clears throat> because you're getting this side of it and then that side of it. So it's really cool because it ties in, but then on each page it's different. So we have, see them two are the same but slightly different. I think it matches better that way. <clears throat> I'm going to, you don't, you don't even have to pair them up if you're going to do it like this. I just prefer it like that. See them are the same, one from this side of the page, one from that side of the page because they were folded in half and cut down the side. <clears throat> so that would make a good back to back page that would make a good back to back page what else have we got that would as well yes I'm still in frame just keep reminding myself to check <clears throat> that way so that would even make a good back to back page as well then we have that one check the writing make sure it's the right way up and that one see they'd even make good pages too them too <coughs> don't think it ma oh yeah it does matter because there's writing on the page only very faintly but there's writing on the page <coughs> So they go that way. These ones probably won't work as well because it's got lines on it, so you've a bit cut off it. It would work, but I'd be tempted to cover that bit up. Leave that on the edge and then just collage or something in that bit. Um, <clears throat> but I could use these for other things as well. Then we have those, not really going to work as well, and them. No, let's stick with these ones. <coughs> okay, so. So we used this one for these. These ones for this, should I say, with the flowers on the bottom. What is in the front of the book? Let's have a look. Pages wise, let's have a look what's in the front of the book. Because obviously, if I'm going to be using a bookmark, I want it to vaguely match what's in the front of the book. Just move that over there somewhere. Are we in frame? Yep. So we've got that one. 
all right so we've got that would go okay but it would clash if i put it on that page i don't want it clashing with that so we won't use that one then although we might do i could always swap the bookmarks over i suppose um, so what else have we got lines okay although it wouldn't matter because they'd be the same in the front and the back anyway wouldn't they so we're pretty much whittled down to them aren't we i think mm. Have a look. That page there. Can't use that, it's too big. That page there for that one. That page on that one. That's too big. That's too big. Mm. Pushing it a little bit doable but pushing it a little bit that page and then the middle of the book right so I am gonna go with this one for the front of the book we shall go with that one <clears throat> can't use that but like I said well I didn't even measure wrong it was just the off cut but it's not big enough so let's get the air fan pack we need another to this now. Okay, put the journal to one side again as well. Now I need to measure because I can't remember how big I did the one and a half. No, it's not one and a half, one and three quarter. Whoa, yes, what I need to do is cut this down as well first. I actually cut these down to make measurements slightly easier because I am absolutely rubbish at maths. Um, and I cut them to seven and a half inch. So, let's just get that over there glue over there because I'm going to need that in a minute so <clears throat> I have my um, cutting board here at the side of me I'll fetch it here and I'll show you but I always have it here just to the side of the desk um, a lot of the time in videos you can see, I'm not going to move the camera I'll show it you in a minute but a lot of the time in videos you can just see the edge of it anyway here at the side of the mat um, it's here simply because all I need to do is just lift it up, pop stuff under and cut without moving it onto the desk and back again and onto the desk and back again. But I will just pop it here to show you. It is this. I use this one. Um, oh, I'll just stand up for this because I can't see. All oh, right there. Yeah, I use this one. Um, it is a Woodworth Craft Collection Board. Um, and I really, really do love it. It's got a little pull-out arm underneath to make it bigger. And it does 16 inch um, paper length. Uh, what I love about this more than anything, I have quite a few, I have a lot actually, I have. One, two, three four five six including this i have six paper trimmers this by far has been my favorite so far what i like about this one is the slider um it's in you've got to actually push it down for the blade to engage but also it is the most easiest thing in the world to change the blade on because all you do is you just squeeze and lift and then take it out they come in these little cartridges and this is a straight blade um, so obviously it cuts straight but they just come in these little cartridges you can obviously buy new ones 
and then you just pop it in close it up away you go but underneath at both sides there is room to put spares so there's room there and then at this side there's room there for another one but this also comes with you can buy these separate and they've got like a zigzaggy they've also got like a zigzaggy cartridge that's supposed to look like a rough edge um, but they've also it also comes with I got a scoring a cutting blade and a scoring one so if I take this out and put it in place of that it does as a scoreboard as well it will score paper for me I have used it and it's awesome but I have a small we are memory keeper scoreboard that I use quite regular so unless I need to do bigger things like on uh, 12 by 12 card stock I use without falling over I use this little one it's very handy um, but that is awesome it does work I love it and like I said I just keep it here sometimes I will move it if I have to but for doing little trims like this it just lives here next to the de next to the board I've got everything at a weird angle again um, but yeah it just lives at the side of me here so I am just going to cut this at seven and three quarters no seven and a half I said didn't I I'll remeasure in a second I'll get this arm out I, one thing I'm, this arm can sometimes be really stiff so <clears throat> right so what did this say measure again to double check yep seven and a half so let's cut the top bit off because it's bent so seven and a half and we've got just the tiniest tiniest little sliver and it's so smooth cutting is this I've seen a few people using this and not getting along with it very well at all but oh I love it absolutely love it it's like the most used cutting board I have uh, trimmer whatever you want to call them but yeah love it um, so, like I said, that area I bought seven and a half, and then I need this black card to measure. I think it was eight. It was eight inch. Oh, bye. Well, the card itself is just over eight inches, like eight and a quarter. So, we need the card to measure. 8 inch so chop that slither off and then we need it to be 1 and 3 quarters I think wasn't it yep ok so 1 and a half and 4 and a half Another one. Actually, I think I've still got to cut. Right, one thing at a time. Stop overthinking. <laughs> this happens all the time. My mind wanders. I start get in the middle of doing one thing, and I suddenly think, "Oh, hang on, should I not be doing that? Or should I do that?" No, Victoria, you shouldn't. You should. Concentrate on what you're actually doing now. Right, one and a half inch across. So it needs just a teensiest bit cutting off it. No, it didn't at all. What did I 
ルジャパン、はい。Why did I just do that? I didn't cut that at one and a half, that's why. No, I cut it at one and a quarter. I'm an idiot. Right. It did need one and a half, but I cut it at one and a quarter. See, this is what happens when I don't concentrate. I am such a lunatic. Right, so we're going with a different one after all. Good job I've got plenty of scraps, isn't it? Don't follow my lead, guys. Cut up one and a half, not one and a quarter. <sighs> like I said, if you're following these measurements. So... Let's go with that one. And we start again. So we need seven. We don't need seven. Yeah, we do. Seven and a half length. One and a half width, not one and a quarter. That's better. Much better. See, it's only the tiny sliver, but when you're putting it on here, it does make a difference. Yes, that's more like it. Concentrate seven and a half. That's only one and a half. That's better. <clears throat> okay. Oh, honestly, see what I mean? Nothing ever simple and straightforward when I am doing a video. Right, I am still in frame, so let's get cracking with the next bits. Which is fairly simple now, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is. Fairly simple. Um, now, where is it? There it is. I actually, specifically last night, as daft as it seems, kept this tiny little, tiny little cut off from the corner of this at the top. And I'll show you why in a minute. Well, when we get to that bit anyway. So let's figure out which way. That way and that way. There's some very faint text on this. You can tell what it says. No, but it goes that way. goes that way so that needs to go that way up. This one doesn't have any text on. But doesn't matter which way up it goes but it looks better that way up. <clears throat> so now basically you just glue. So get the glitter glue ready or whatever glue you wish to use ready glue the paper not the card distress or do whatever you want to these before you glue them down I'm not going to do that um, I do distress but I'm not a huge fan of it to be honest not when I'm doing coloured kind of things if I'm doing vintage stuff yes but stuff like this I don't feel it needs it and most of the stuff in Tracy's kit is already distressed anyway so you don't need a lot of it um, don't need huge amounts of glue either when doing this oh, I wish I had my nails I 
broke a couple of nails the other day, so I've had to cut them right down. And I can't do anything. You know, like most people can't do anything when they've got nails, where I can't do anything when I haven't got them. It's weird. But yeah, if I have nails done, like if I go and have nail extensions or whatever, or false nails, I can't do a thing. I am absolutely useless. And then the aim of the game is just to try and get this on with a roughly equal amount of space around it, leaving a gap at the top. You could centre it, but I leave a gap at the top because then we're going to stick this on. And it's good to use that as a guide, actually. So, you can, if you have one, use a bone folder just to smooth things out. If you don't have one, you can use the side of your scissors works just the same same when scoring um, but it's not really necessary I just use it mainly to flatten any bubbles out or anything in it so that's one done let's do the next I cannot glue in a straight line to save my life absolutely useless even with this fine tip my coordination is just pants you don't need a lot anyway there we go yep and i'm a very messy crafter these are bits you these are kind of the bits you don't see when i'm crafting Tissue and get that off. Well, not get it off, but dry it up. Right, so smooth it out. Get rid of them air bubbles. I don't think they're any in anyway, but get rid of them anyway. The less it doesn't matter so much with the art glitter glue or Fabri-Tac, they don't bubble anyway, but the less glue you use, the less kind of ripple and puckering you get in the paper underneath. Like when you've used PVA and it dries with bumps in it. Even PVA will do this job without getting the lumpy bumpy bits underneath if you only use it sparingly and don't completely saturate the card with it. Or paper with it, should I say. So, whoops. Oh, and it's fallen off again. Get back on. There we go. Just shove that over there at the side, although I'm actually going to use it again now. Didn't think of that. Okay, so it's dry. Um, so the next step is to use the glue, so don't put the lid on like I just did. The next step is to make sure you've got them the right way up. And that's good. Because just by eye I can see I've pretty much got them level. A level gap at the top, which is good. So now we're going to turn them over and then just very well carefully whatever just put a tiny strip of glue at the top and at the bottom as close to the top and bottom as you can and as straight as you can and just this tiniest little bit make sure they're the right way up and then you're just going to glue stick should I say and then the art glitter glue is good it gives you a few seconds to play and just kind of move it around make sure the level wipe off any excess glue coming out which is you very very 
very minimal normally and you need to give this a minute or two to set unlike Fabri-Tac where it would be pretty much instant you just need to give this a couple more minutes it's okay now but you pull too much and it'll come apart so just make sure it's really well adhered whoops don't do that or if you do do that then just glue it back down but I'd advise you not to that's just me being rough <clears throat> okay like I said make sure you get them at the top yesterday I did this one where that was at the top and at that side it was at the bottom I had to pull them apart and wipe the glue off and re-glue re it okay so now you basically have your bookmark belly band that's it done however I turned mine into a tag shape and I'm going to do the same with this now there are a million different ways of decorating the top of this. I've used some of this um, blingy trim. Um, you could, like any tag, put a hole in the top of it and stick some string through or fluffies or whatever you want basically. Um, like I said, I stuck some of this on it but I wanted to turn it into a tag and to make sure I get them both the same style tag there was no measuring involved in doing this I just um, I literally just actually I put this on first and then I literally just cut the edge off and then I used the bit that I cut off to turn the other way and cut that off so that both sides were equal so I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to put that on first. Oh no, actually. No, this time I'm not. This time I'm going to cut and then put the tag, in, then put the topper in the middle. So using the same tiny little corner that I cut off that one, I'm going to line it up with this corner. Like that. I don't know if you can see because it's black on black. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it's very fiddly with no nails to do something this small I apologize if you can hear Taylor in the background he's in his room directly below me he has his headphones on and he's gaming but he forgets how loud he is so there you go that's one corner off and then the same piece line it up with that corner you can see what I'm doing I think I hope you can so line it up the best you can with the other corner and hold it the best you can it's hard work when the tiny ones they're normally bigger than this I've normally got nails as well you can barely see where to cut there we go and cut that corner and there you have the typical tag shape at the top and then like I said you can pop a hole in the middle and put thread or whatever through but I'm going to stick some bling on this bling I got from Amazon um, you can see there 10 yards of it all together £4.79 for the whole lot from Amazon it's still on there because I got some more at Christmas um, it even comes in this little bag it's on the four strand you can get different ones but I got it on a four and I did 10 on here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's count it again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep cut across there I love it it's really floppy very blingy, really floppy, but so effective. It's like one of my favourite trims to use. And then I use, I found the middle. 
Like I said, this one I'd actually already cut first, but it's a lot easier now. It's uh, no, this one I put that on first, then I cut the sides. I didn't like it flat, so I cut the sides after I put that on. Um, this one's a bit easier because you can find the middle because it's already cut. But then I just lined that up with that, fold it over and line that up there as well. Okay, so um, you can get two on that side, like two strips on the black and then the same on the back. So you glue. This is where this stuff comes in handy actually because you can just put a little blob on each. Like that. It's a bit fiddly is this stuff. So you get it where you want it but then you've actually got to kind of hold it for a, for a few seconds just to make sure it sticks. <coughs> doesn't take long just a few seconds the pr they're um, fairly flat on the back so they do stick quite well you just gotta give it whoops a few seconds okay so that's that side done and then you flip it over and do the bottom two Whilst I'm doing this, I would like to just give a shout out to Shell. Hello, Shell. I know you're watching and you're probably killing yourself laughing at me. But you're probably also sitting there going, ah, she's doing this. Oh my God, she's using bling. Um, have you cracked up your stuff yet? Have you? Are you sitting there yet thinking, oh, I can do that. We all your bits of scrap pieces of paper and everything. She's been so looking forward to this. This is Shell from over at Shell CCC, which... Everybody by now who watches our YouTube channel probably knows about Michelle because I talk about her so much. It's not only is she like my best crafting friend ever in the world, we we do we're kind of in the in the midst of a collaborate business collaboration as well. Um, so, oops, nothing's been announced officially yet, apart from it's coming. We're still kind of ironing out the kinks and everything, but yeah, it is happening, guys. It is happening. Um, but I pluck Michelle a lot anyway because she's just awesome and she's like quite a big fan as I am of her and Lollipop um, but yeah I'd also like to give a shout out to Emma so hi Emma from Meomia um, and anybody else who's watching hi guys but yeah so what do you think Michelle do you reckon easy enough you're going to crack your stuff out later and have a go. Shell, for anybody who isn't aware, makes cards. Um, Shell CC is short for Shell's Cards, Colouring and Crafts. And as soon as I said the other day that I were going to do this and make, like, using scraps, she's like, oh, I could really seriously do with a way of getting rid of some of my scrap stuff. What are you, what are you up to? I sent her a really quick sneak peek video last night and she's like, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. So, yeah. Oh, I've just stabbed myself. Way to go. <laughs> but yeah, so here it is. What do you think? A bit long-winded as my stuff usually in my um, videos usually are. But that's it, guys. It's finished. It's done. As simple as. Um still a teensy bit fragile at the moment because ideally you want to leave it to dry overnight unless you're using something like fabri -Tac, which adheres almost instantly but even then i still leave it but that's it we have two bookmark belly bands um based on the tutorial from g Kerr. seriously guys go check her out her links are below but also the link to the actual bookmark belly band video she did that i got the inspiration from to do mine so please go check her out credit where credit's due she's awesome go and have a look um but yeah so also go and check tracy out guys for the kit or just go and check her out anyway she has her own youtube channel and she does videos too so tutorial videos and all sorts of stuff as well she does videos on showing you what to do with her kits so go check her out as well but yeah so 
this is it. So let's see, moment of truth, if my measurements are right, which they should be. Dun, dun, dun. The second time round anyway, not the first. Yay! We did it! We did it! <laughs> I am such a child. I am so childish, but I don't care. <laughs> so, I have it on a pink one at the other side. Let's find a blue one at this side. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely blue one at this side because it's got like bluey purple flowers on. I'm not sure what them flowers are, guys. Does anybody know? I instantly thought of forget-me-nots, but I don't think they are. But anyway, so yeah. Come on, get on. There we go. So now I have two... Oh, that won't do. That won't do. Scoot that one down that way and scoot this one over this way. Can't be having them both in the same. That's better. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Can't be having them both in the same place, can we? Move it over slightly. Go a little bit more. A little bit more. This is where my OCD kicks in now and it's just stupid. Oh, that's better. That's better. Slightly off centre, but I can still tuck things in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Losing everything, dipping these in my brew. That's not good. Yep, so I can still tuck things in there, which is awesome. Same with this one. Yeah, there's still room to tuck some stuff in there too. Definitely. Cool. Love it, love it, love it. I can move them anyway, it's just my OCD is dictating that they shouldn't be right next to each other. <laughs> but yeah, so wicked. And I think it's, it's it, I don't know, to me it just finishes it off. Um, um, because they are actually, the image that I've used in the middle is actually part of the kit. I don't know, just, it makes me all warm and fuzzy. Like very aesthetically pleasing. That's annoying me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to swap them over because that is like really annoying me because it's the same on the same page and I don't like it. Oh, see, crazy, crazy. Just how my brain works. Although I know I can hear a few of you other people in there going, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, so do I. Um, don't want it on that one. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, what's going on that one anyway? So, whoop. no, it was on a blue one, wasn't it? Yes, it was on a blue one, not a pink one. So it's this one. <sighs> that's better. Oh, that's better. That makes me even more happier. <laughs> yes. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to stop fussing over it now. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, like I said, if you, if you go and watch G's video, her tutorial on how to make them bookmarks is a lot quicker than mine. <laughs> she just gets straight to the point. Um, but yes, so I would just really, really, really love to say thank you so much for swinging by. Um, thank you for putting up with me. Nearly choking on my brew <laughs> um, thank you for your support um, thank you for your kind comments and everything else because people do leave me the most awesome comments on the videos and for people some people don't uh, some people will message me privately because they don't necessarily want their comments to be shown on shown in public um, so anybody who would like to comment but would prefer for other people not to see what they're commenting then please do message me you can find me over on facebook and instagram and other places all my links are below as well so definitely please check me out as well as other people seriously go check the others out first but then if you need to or if you want to get hold of me all my links are below as well um but yeah so thank you so so much guys for watching um, I hope you come back for more <laughs> um, 
the next tutorial will the uh, tutorial Thursday will be on a Thursday um, and it will be in March um, I'm not sure of the date because I haven't got my book I haven't got my diary with me up here with me that's got the date in for it but it the first Thursday in March basically is when the next tutorial Thursday will be what it will be on I do not know if anybody has any suggestions please please feel free to leave them below I will see what I can do um, I hope you've enjoyed this one I hope you try it if you do please let me know how you get on with it um, please like I said please 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 pop over to G's channel and check her version of the tutorial out because if after all it's her idea um but yeah so um also if you swing by her channel and you you like what you see and you comment or whatever just let her know i sent you well you don't need some business name drop or anything but you know it's nice to see where people come from um but yeah <laughs> it's awesome i love it i'm so it's so easily pleased now i'm going to finish my brew because once again it's gone cold um go and grab something quick to eat and then i'm going to come back and do a flip through on this journal with both the bookmarks in because now it's now the journal's complete so thank you for watching i hope you come back and watch the flip through check out all the links below guys and i hope to see you again soon thank you for coming thank you for watching goodbye